Hey everyone, happy Thursday and welcome to the Team Fit Revolution weekly call. My name is Lauren Kaliski, for those of you that don't know me, and I am the founder of Team Fit Revolution. I'm super excited because we're doing something different this week on the team call. Um, we're doing a diamond panel, which I don't know why we haven't done this sooner, <laughs> um, but I'm really excited for it and maybe it's something we'll kind of do every once in a while because I feel like... Um, there's so much that you learn on the journey to diamond and um, there's so much that each and every one of us has to share from that journey. Um, and I think that we can really learn from each other and help each other reach our goals just by having like this kind of open conversation um, about what helped us develop our leadership. So um, let me go to my notes really quick. Summit is in one week. Raise your hands and do a little dance if you're going to be at Summit. Woo! Oh, I see lots of dancing. That makes me excited. Um, so yeah, we'll be a NOLA dancing together in like a week, which is just crazy. I'm super excited. Um, I feel like it's exactly what I need right now, and I can't wait to see you all there. Lots of hugs, lots of smiles in the future, and I cannot wait. So um, if you haven't already joined the Facebook group, um, please do. We've got a Summit Facebook group. I'm going to go copy and paste the link. The link is at the top of Team Fit Revolution. I love that new feature that they added for the related groups. Um, I, I don't know if you guys have seen what I'm talking about, but hopefully you have. I'll paste the link to the NOLA Facebook group. Um, in the chat box so then you can join if for some reason you're not already a part of it. Um, but definitely tune into that group to stay up to date with different things. Um, I'm probably gonna host a coffee shop meetup again, which was a lot of fun from last year. So that's what we'll do. I really hope you can make it because I'd love to see you. Otherwise, I'm not exactly, this is like a new experience. Whoa, I just threw my pen. Every time we're in a new, a new place, it's a totally new experience. Um, and I don't exactly know what to expect. Um, but I'll definitely be going live in that group, giving you some packing tips some some things that I know will happen for sure. <laughs> and um, all of that good stuff. Okay, next thing on my list is our leadership boot camp. So, um, leadership boot camp is basically a group for anyone who wants to develop their leadership skills, who wants to grow a team. So, if you want to go beyond just running challenge groups and supporting people on their health and fitness journey, this is a place for you to grow your leadership skills and to really um, not focus, but work on building your team as well, because that is part of leadership. Um, basically your leadership is just, leadership is a reflection of how many people are following you. And um, the more people you can get to follow you on this journey, the more successful you're gonna be. And yes, Alexa, if you could just copy and paste the application into the chat box, it's posted in the team page as well. Uh, but this is open to anyone on Team Fat Revolution or any of the downline teams, Team Empower, Team Let Your Light Shine, Team Fire Away, uh, Team Iron Edge, doesn't matter where you're from. Um, we are all one big family and we would love to have you in this boot camp. Um, you know, if you're a brand new coach, this may not be the group for you. This would, this is really, I'm not going to say it's not a group for you. It's really up to you and where you're at right now and where you want to go. Um, if you're, if you're ready to run, then join the runners, obviously. Cause like, it's, it's really important to surround yourself with people who are, you know, working towards similar goals. So if you've got big goals, surround yourself with people who've got big goals. But if you're like a brand spanking new coach, this is your first team call. Uh, you don't, you don't have a good understanding of the basics. This might be a little bit over your head. That's not to say it's not a good opportunity for you to learn more because I think the more you absorb and the more you soak things up and the more you hear things, the more things really start to make sense. And, um, you will, your understanding of how to build a business, how to be a leader, how to help people on their health and fitness journey, how to help people build a business, that understanding will become more clear. Okay. So what's going to be happening in the group? Um, it's going to be we're, the theme of this entire, the rest of this year. Um, and what really, what the theme should have been all along is simplicity is key. So it's going to be really simple. There's not going to be like a whole lot of homework or assignments or things like that. Um, it's really going to be leaders from this team sharing things that have helped them reach their goals, like what we're doing right now. Um, I'm going to be popping in and sharing, you know, what's working for me. Um, 
today, not a year ago. And um, what is helping my, my coaches, what is helping my clients, sharing all of those types of things, okay? Um, and there's gonna be one live video every single day. The video will range from five to 30 minutes, depending on the topic. You know, if we're going into some tangible training, like how to create a Google form. Okay, there's probably gonna be like a 20 minute video on that, right? But depending on what the daily topic is, will depend. That's, that'll determine the length of the video. It'll vary. Um, but like I said, we're going for simplicity and, um, there's a bunch of, we put together like a list of, um, a daily action plan, a weekly action plan and a monthly action plan. The action plan is pasted at the top of the group. So once you are added to the group, which that link will be emailed out to you. So if you want to be added to the group, make sure you fill out the application and make sure you watch your email inbox because that's how you're going to get access. Okay. We're not adding anyone. Um, you need to add yourself or request access and then we will add you. Um, we are going to send out the invites to join the group today. We're going to basically kind of get everyone settled in the group, make sure everyone has an understanding. And then Monday we will start with the live videos. Okay. Um, not, that's not to say we won't be going in there and sharing some things of value throughout the weekend, but Monday we're going to kind of give everyone till then to get in the group. Um, as far as I know for right now, like this is an ongoing thing. So people will be able to continue to join the group. Um, and it's going to be basically, you know, how a challenge group is accountability for your health and fitness journey and shout out to everyone in, in the team Fair evolution summer shift group. Who's been kicking ass and taking names. Like I just love seeing everyone posting in there. This is going to be accountability for your business. Okay. Just the flip side. Um, but we really want to create a similar energy to what's going on in the team challenge group, um, in this leadership boot camp. Any questions about the boot camp? type in the chat box. Um, yep. Like I said, to join, um, you just simply need to fill out the application and ex and then you'll get an invite via email from Alexa. Cool. Okay. No questions, so we'll just keep on rolling. So let's dive into tonight's topic. Um, we are having a diamond panel. And I feel like before we have our diamond share, it's important to start off with why diamond? What is diamond? Um, what is the significance of it? How is it going to help you? I feel like if you don't understand diamond, it's really an arbitrary goal that's not going to have a whole lot of meaning for you. Um, and it's really important that you put the meaning behind it. What is this going to mean and look like for you? So um, I'm just going to start with a really, really basic overview of what diamond is for anyone who's a new coach on here. Oh, and look at this. We have 51 participants. I thought we maxed out at 50. This is cool. Okay. So definitely the biggest team call we've had in a real long time. Shout out to everyone for getting on. So what is diamond real quick overview? A diamond is, and I should have just had an image ready for this. Um, maybe Alexa, can you pull an image really quick? Um, but a diamond coach is someone who has sponsored, um, two emeralds, one on each side, and then three other active coaches. So potentially a diamond is someone who has eight coaches, but I will tell you that it took me, I think I had sponsored 12 coaches before I got to diamond. So I don't ever like to sell it as it's like a certain number of coaches because it really is an individual thing. But to rank advanced at diamond, you basically have to have one emerald and three active coaches on each side, on your left side and on your right side. It's a binary system, okay? Um, and there we go, Alexa coming in clutch with the image. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't have to be in any specific order. As you can see, the emerald, one is on the right, one is on the left. And then when your business looks like this, you've got four active coaches on each side, one of them is an emerald, you then become a diamond coach, okay? And, and so what does this mean for you? And what does this mean for your, your growing team, right? Um, thank you, Alexa, that was perfect. Um, it signifies that you're an emerging leader, right? All of a sudden now you've got a team of eight plus coaches, you've got people following you, you've got people looking up to you. For me, I think before diamond, that was really scary. 
Like if I had heard someone say that, I would have been like, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. How am I going to tell other people how to do this? Right. Is anyone feeling that way right now? You're like, okay, diamond sounds awesome, but am I really ready for this? And let me tell you, you are, you are ready for this. It is amazing accountability. It really encouraged me to grow into the leader that I am today. Um, because I had those people following me. And if I didn't have people following me, I'm not sure I would have been um, as accountable to growing, right? And like having that from other people has been a huge blessing for my own journey, okay? Um, so you're, you're an emerging leader, you got people following you, it's really exciting, you've got a growing team, um, you are building the foundation for a really successful business, the foundation, right? Um, so it also maxes out the compensation plan. What do I mean by that? Okay. So when you're a coach, you can only earn commissions, right? When you get to Emeralds, you can earn commissions and you can earn up to $250 a week in the form of a team cycle bonus, right? And team cycle bonus comes from volume, um, from your coaches and from any coaches on the team that are under you. Okay. So if you ever log into your back office and you're like, who are all of these random coaches that are, have been placed under me? Those are coaches on the team that are being placed under you as we continue to grow. The volume from all of those people collectively creates a team cycle bonus. And you have to have volume on both sides. You can watch some more complex videos about what I'm talking about right now. I'm just really keeping it super basic. Um, and this isn't a call about volume specifically. But it maxes out the compensation plan, right? So at, at Emerald, you can earn up to $250 a week in team cycle bonus at Ruby which almost nobody hits. Almost everybody just crosses through it. I can explain more later if you wish. Um, you can earn up to $1,000 in Team Psycho bonus. Danny, I was Ruby as well. So we are like the few and far between. I'm actually curious, how many diamonds on the call were Ruby first? That's a, that would be really interesting. Um, I was Ruby as well though. So, um, and then as a, as a, um, Diamond coach, you can earn up to $2,000 a week in team cycle bonus. Okay. So it's basically $14 a week in, or $14 a cycle as an emerald, $16 a cycle as a ruby and $18 a cycle as a diamond. And whether you're a star diamond, like I'm a five star diamond, I still make $18 a cycle, just like a diamond coach. Okay. So when you have gotten to diamond, you've maxed out the compensation plan from a team cycle bonus standpoint. We all get paid a maximum of $18 per, per team bonus cycle. I hope you're still with me. Okay. So, um, not only do you max out the compensation plan, you qualify for the coach connection program. What is the coach connection program? It's similar to the lead program, customer leads, success club leads, Coach Connection is a lead program for people that sign up as a coach without a coach. So I think over the last, I don't know what, I've been a diamond for, I've been a diamond for what, three years? I think three years in August, maybe four, three years, three years. I've been a coach for four years. So three years, I'll have been a diamond in August. That's when I, I, I rank advanced to diamond shortly after my first summit. So, um, I, since then, I think I've gotten like four or five coaches assigned to me randomly. I go into my back office and it's like, surprise, you've sponsored a new coach. And I'm like, no, I didn't. Where did this person come from? They came from the coach connection program, which, um, you can qualify for as a diamond. You can check your qualification status under my business, my qualification status, my lead program. And it'll tell you whether or not you're qualified for coach connection or any of the other lead programs, which I seriously hope you guys are taking advantage of. You got to be hitting success club to qualify for those lead programs, but dang, it may not seem like it makes a big impact in your business today, but down the road, it sure as heck does. That's a whole nother topic as well. So um, it is a stepping stone to reaching your bigger goals. Diamond is not a destination. I think a lot of people look at diamond as this big shiny object. I'm gonna get to diamond and I am going to start earning six figures and I'm gonna be able to quit my job and I'm gonna be able to pay all my bills with my beach body income. And I hate to break it to you, but that's probably not true. Okay. It is simply a stepping stone to reaching your bigger goals. And I don't want you to think that you're going to get to this, that, that is a destination that you're going to get to. And then all of a sudden the Holy grail is unlocked and you are just, you know, raking in the big bucks with your beach body business, because that is 
not true. Um, it is a stepping stone that unlocks the opportunity to earn a significant residual income. So does that mean, so, so I told you guys, right, that the max that you can earn as a diamond coach is $2,000 a week um, in team cycle bonus. Does that mean every diamond coach is earning $2,000 a week in team cycle bonus? I'm sure they all wish they were, but no, they're not. Okay. That just means you can build to that point. Okay. Um, you cannot build to that point until you get to diamond. Okay. It's really the stepping stone to then hitting two star diamond, which is a huge milestone, um, for many reasons. One, it means you've duplicated diamonds on your team, personally sponsored diamonds. Um, you get to open another business center. You basically get to sponsor yourself back into the business. So imagine having one of you under you. That's basically what get, what, what happens when you get to be a two-star diamond. Um, you also qualify or can qualify for the quarterly profit sharing bonus. Um, what is a profit sharing bonus? I get like depending on what rank I hold, if I hold two star or if I hold five star, if I hold two star, I get like a 700 to a thousand dollar bonus every quarter. And I've gotten that every quarter since I've been two star. I don't think I've ever dropped lower than two star. I think I'm three star right now. Um, and then if I hold five star, I get a, I think it's like 2,500 to $3,000 bonus. And then 10 star, it goes up to like, I don't know, $20,000 and then 15 star, it goes up to $40,000. So that profit sharing comes into play when you are a two star. Diamond is the stepping stone to getting to two star and qualifying for some of those things. Um, like I've mentioned, you're duplicating. Duplication is the key to this business. Um, you're helping others be, other people be successful, which is so rewarding. Um, like it's one of my favorite things is to see other people thriving and other people reaching their goals and um, reaching these milestones in your business is really a reflection of that is that you are helping other people. Um, you're going to get recognition for reaching diamond and you will also get added to our leadership Facebook group, um, which is also shared in the team fit revolution page, but that's only for lifetime diamonds and above. So there's many different reasons why diamonds um, you kind of have to figure out how, how this helps you reach your bigger goals. Um, but for a lot of you, it's going to be the stepping stone, not the destination to where you want to be. Okay. So, um, that's enough of me talking. Let's toss it over to our diamond panel. We're going to start with Miss Danielle. Where are you girlfriend? I'm going to spotlight your video. Oh, there you are. Um, and you can go ahead and unmute yourself. Hey, Danielle. Hey, how's it going? Good. Thank you so much for jumping on and sharing with us tonight. So, so appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Um, okay. So let's start off by just sharing your story. Give us like a five minute rundown of your story, how you found Beachbody, how you got started as a coach, all that good stuff. So hmm, I think I was in, I think I was in grad school when I started with insanity. I was complaining to my boyfriend and I was like, babe, I don't feel good about myself. Like I look in the mirror and I'm not happy with how I look. And I was always an athlete, but like, you know, college, grad school, freshman 15, 20 happens. And I remember just looking at myself and not being satisfied. And I'm like a bit of a perfectionist. So if there's like one little bit of like fat or like cellulite, I'm like, oh my God, my life is coming to an end. Um, so he actually recommended insanity. And I was like, nah, I've seen that on TV. It looks really intense. I don't think I could do that. Because I was already like running, hitting the gym, swimming, biking, doing all that good stuff. But nothing was really working. So he was like, why don't you try Insanity? I have a copy of it in my basement. Like, I've never used it, but I've heard it's a good thing. So I was like, okay. So I tried Insanity, and I lost like 15 pounds in whatever the 60 days was. And I didn't even know I had like 15 pounds to lose. So I was really shocked. Um... And then after that, I started like seeking people out. I was like, do you have a 21 day fix? I literally like went on beachbody.com and I was like, I need all the programs. I'm going to do every single one. Um, so I got like a 21 day fix body beast, like all the different ones. I think I did six of them. And then, um, my boyfriend was like, you know, Alexis Doss, who is one of your coaches reached out to me and she asked me like how you're doing. Cause Alexis and my fian not fiance went to middle school together. And, um, she wanted to ask you about coaching. So I like 
didn't even hesitate. I reached out to her and I was like, wait, what is coaching? I don't know anything about this. Like, please tell me more. At this point I was still in grad school. So I didn't have a job. Um, I was just like, you know, working on my thesis and my research and everything. And um, so I reached out to her and I was like, what's coaching? She told me, I was like, okay, sign me up. Like I was like the easiest person ever. I was like, just sign me up. I don't even care what it costs. Like, let's do it. Um, so I got into that and then I don't know how, but somehow like in grad school, I didn't, I had some free time. Like I was like taking classes, writing my thesis and all that, but I also had free time. So I just like dug right into coaching. I didn't even like stop and just sink and let it sink in. Like I just went, I like printed out every single thing in the back office, like made a binder, like check things off, highlighted things. And I was like, all right, I'm doing this. Um, so I jumped right into it. And then I don't know, I guess life happened you know I finished grad school and then I moved down to Florida with my fiance I got a full-time job but I was still doing coaching the whole entire way through I never never stopped um so now that led me up to where I am today and I had a full-time job and I hated it so I like threw myself even more into coaching because I knew it was like my way out um so now I'm part-time at my job just you know for benefits I work for corporate America so it's like Benefits are nice and just kind of like a safety kind of thing. And then once I'm comfortable or once my boyfriend or fiance and I get married and I can have his benefits, then um, I'll go right into coaching like full time. <laughs> Heck yes. Oh my goodness. I like, I just learned so much about you and you have such an awesome story. Um, I feel you with the benefits. I just started paying for my own health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> It's great. Let me tell you. Um, anyways. Yeah. So, um, that's awesome. Like I can totally relate to, to so many different parts of your story. Like I was, I, I was like you, I was in school and not, didn't have a job and was like, okay, I need to learn more about this. This seems really awesome. Um, and then here we are today. So, okay. So when did you join as a coach? I'm just curious. I think October of, what are we in, 2017? I think it was October of 2015. Okay, that's awesome. So you guys see, Danielle has been working towards where she is today for a while. And like, I think one of the key ingredients that people often forget about is consistency, right? Consistency builds your credibility. Consistency catches people's eye because so many people are not consistent. So Danielle has been consistent on her journey um, for what, almost almost two years now. And um, now here she is. So tell us like, what, what helped you get to Diamond? What are like three things that helped you get to Diamond? And why did you decide that Diamond was something you, you wanted? So I guess like ever since I started, I was like, I'm going to hit Diamond and like, two weeks, I can do this, blah, blah, blah. Guys, it took me over a year to hit diamond. And I was like, I was so frustrated at times. I was like on the phone with Alexis. I'm like, Alexis, I'm doing all the vital behaviors. I'm putting in all the work. Like why? I'm like working my full-time job. And I, when I work full-time job, it's more than just eight hours because I have a three hour round trip commute. I live in Fort Lauderdale and work in Miami. So the commute was horrible. I would wake up early before work and go to bed late just so I can do beach body on both sides of work. And I would go to my car during my lunch break to work on beach body. Um, so I was super frustrated. I was like, why, like, why am I not, I, I set my standards like super high and I was not hitting my goals and I was like really frustrated with myself. Um, and I think it's because I, I want to say it's because I put too much pressure on myself and then I got into this like negative mindset and it just wasn't good. So, and I think it was reflecting in my posts and everything like that. Um, so the number, well, I have three things that I wrote down that really helped me kind of get to where I am now. And number one is just showing up, like show up every single day. And I know, like, I did this when I didn't want to. I wanted to sleep in, and I got up at 6 a.m. on the weekends to do this. Like, if you want to be successful, you have to show up. Because even if you don't realize it, people notice when you don't show up. If you're, like, super consistent and then all of a sudden, like, fall off, people are going to notice. And, like, if you show up every single day, you will be successful with this. Um, I know that's something that's, like, I wanted to make excuses for myself, but you have to be stronger than your excuses because 
if you let your excuses win, it's not going to work out. So just show up and do the work. And honestly, and the second thing I was going to say is have a game plan. Like, don't just go into Facebook and be like, all right, I'm just going to sit here and answer messages. And then maybe I'll scroll over here and look at that. Or, oh, look, Instagram. Yay, Instagram stories. Have a plan. Like, I have, I'm super OCD. I have a daily checklist that I go off every single day and I check off every little thing every single day. I have a weekly checklist and I have a monthly checklist. So checklists really work for me. Some people don't do it that way. Some people just know it all up here. I'm very like meticulous and like to just have everything checked off by the end of the day. So having a game plan, I think is super, super, super important um, for this business. And then the third thing, that really has helped me. And I don't know if you guys use, can you share your checklist? Yes, I can share my checklist. Is there, hmm, can I share it like on, in the comments when you post this team call? Yeah, you can, you can post in the comments, you can post a document directly to the team page, however you wanna do it, it's totally fine. <laughs> okay, cool, yeah, I'll do that. Let me just write it down so I don't forget. <laughs> um, and the third thing, and, I don't think this is like talked about enough, but having a contact list and following up. You don't know how many times I've written people off and then I don't follow up with them and they sign up with another coach. And I'm like, what, why? <laughs> like I was talking to you, but it's okay because I learned from that and I have streak is like my godsend. Um, I don't know what I would do with that. I was using Excel at first because I didn't know how to use Streak and I didn't want to pay for it. But now if I didn't have Streak, I would go crazy. Um, if you don't know, Streak is a, it's like a, a plugin, I guess, for Google uh, or Gmail. And it like keeps all your contacts and you can set reminders of when to follow up with them, and fill out all their information and all that stuff. So it, it really keeps them on track. And it, but following up, even if it's like a month or two months later, just just check in, you know, like, hey, how are you doing? Because usually no doesn't mean no, it just means not now. Um, so like even just the, like two days ago, I talked to someone like three months ago and she said she wasn't ready. And I messaged her um, and I was like, hey, like, how's everything going? Like, um, how is your daughter doing? And she was like, oh, like, you're really good. And she's like, actually, I've been really needing to like, like talk to you or reach out to you. I want to join one of your challenge groups. And I was like, Oh, cool. Like, I didn't even expect that, but it's just so important to follow up. And even if it's not to like join a challenge group or anything like that, just show people you care and that you're genuinely interested in their life. Um, because if you come off in genuine, like people are going to notice and like know that you're kind of like, I know how to explain it, but if someone reaches out to me on social media, I can tell from the get-go if they're being ingenuine and just want to sell me something. So make sure you you really care about the people that you're talking to and follow up with them and just like check in and see how their life is doing um so those are my three little tidbits or points <laughs> so good like I can't even tell you like I think both me and Alexa are like over here like yes yes like <laughs> these are the the simple things that are really easy to do and to not do like it is so easy to make excuses and to to not show up, to not do little things like track your conversations and, and follow up. But those little things are really what make all of the difference. That's really, um, I'm not saying like, you know, obviously you guys, Danielle shared, she's super organized and super um, meticulous with her, with what she does, which is awesome. <laughs> you don't have to be super, super organized because I'm definitely a hot mess, but these are the things that are going to help you focus on a daily basis on what is going to help you reach the goal. Feedback, hold on. I don't think it's from you, but I'm going to... Someone is getting out of the car. Here we go. Found it. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it's really all of the little daily actions that you take that are going to help you get to where you want to be. Um, so, I mean, you shared some of the things you learned along the way, but is there like, is there any big aha moments or lessons that you had? Like, I love that you said, um, 
you know, you learned when coaches signed up with other people or customers, whatever, that like, that's because you didn't follow up instead of being like, Oh, boo hoo playing the victim. You like took responsibility and we're like, okay, I'm going to do things differently. Like that's what this is about. Um, I don't think there's any such thing as failure in this business. It's just that you have to try again you have to keep trying again. And when things don't go your way, you have to learn from that experience and, and grow. So is there any other like big aha or growth moments that you had along the way? Oh, oh, you're muted. Hold on. Let me unmute you. Sorry. There we go. Um, I definitely think something else that I learned along the way was um, I'm a very like instant gratification kind of person. Like if I put in the work, I want to reap the benefits from it immediately. And something this business has taught me is you have to be patient. Like you have to just show up every day and not expect anything. Just if you're showing up consistently, it will happen over time. But I don't know, I guess I was like, when I was really upset with myself, it's because I wasn't being patient and I wasn't letting all my hard work like just pan out the way it was supposed to be. I wanted it to happen like right then and there. And I got really down on myself and, you know, felt like what I was doing wasn't, I was putting in more work and I wasn't receiving anything. So I was like really frustrated. But then um, I forgot what book it was. I read some personal development book and they're like, maybe it was even Gary V. And he was just like, think a business like multi-million dollar businesses are not built overnight. Like <laughs> they take years and years to build. Um, so that's something that I really like took away um, or kind of learned on my journey is just to be patient. And if you just show up and put in the work, like good things will happen. Um, but you have to be patient with the process. Amen. Amen, sister. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. The chat box is just going off. So <laughs> this is like, I mean, we, so many of us can relate to this because we've had these same struggles, but these, um, this is like the real, the real stuff, guys. This is what it takes to build your business is, is having that, that mindset that that isn't going to let you give up when things don't happen on your timeline or when you want them to like it'll all work out as long as you keep going so i love that um okay well let's just um you know play a little national wake up call style alexa style how has your life changed since joining <laughs> the team and becoming a coach share with us like who danielle was when you started and who you've become um that's a good question Let's see. Well, as you know, I started as like a grad student and I've always been kind of like, I don't want to say like a natural born leader, but I've always had a lot of friends that, you know, we were always on like the same team and I always held leadership positions if I was ever in like a club or anything like that. So I definitely have improved. And like back then I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I was just like, eh, like I'm secretary of water polo. Cool. Like I'll put together the t-shirts and whatever. Um, but my leadership has definitely grown and I'm sure it'll continue to grow. I have so much learning to do and I'm like just digging into, like I just made myself a team page and everything. So I know I have a lot to learn. I'm definitely doing that leadership boot camp. I definitely want to do that. Um, so I guess that has changed over the years, but going from grad school to a full-time job, like grad school, I had all the time in the world. I was going on vacation every weekend, like skiing or, you know, going down to Florida or just doing all this traveling and then like real life set in and I had to get a full-time job and I was gone for 55 to 60 hours a week, like away from the house. And then Sundays like I was meal prepping and grocery shopping and cleaning and like I literally had Saturdays to do what I wanted to do and I was miserable like when I tell you like I can't even tell you how I was so I'm trying to think of like a good way to put it I was like depressed I was anxious like I couldn't I feel like I couldn't have any time to myself because I was pushing myself really hard at my job and I was also pushing myself really hard at Beachbody and just like I had no time for myself. I stopped doing personal development because I felt like I didn't have the time. I was doing a little bit like of listening to podcasts and stuff while I was like driving and everything. Um, but I definitely wasn't doing as much as I should have been. And then like just reality set in and my fiance is like, you're, you can't keep doing this to yourself. He's like, something's got to give. He's my voice of reason. Cause he's like, cause I just like <laughs> go off on tangents. Um, 
So I was like, no, you know, I could do this. I could do this. I could do this. So finally he's like, Danielle, you either go in there and tell your boss you want to quit or go part time or I'll do it for you. <laughs> I was like, okay. Cause my, my, my fiance is an attorney. So he's like, like, he's really good at just arguing and doing all that stuff. Um, cause that's what he does for his job. So he's like, I'll support you with whatever you want. Like, I want you to be happy. I know you can do beach body. Like I know you can do it. So I was like, fine. So I finally went in, I talked to my boss and I was like, boss, I'm, I, I was going to quit. <laughs> and he was like, no, no, stay part time. I'll, I'll keep giving you benefits. I'll like pay your phone bill. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, all right, fine. Like you're going to do that. I'll, I'll stay with it. <laughs> um, and also like, it's nice to have just like a safety because beach body at this point, like Lauren said, it's not steady income. You don't start making steady income until you're like upper diamond or star diamonds. So right now I'm like wishy-washy with the income and I'm like, okay, at least I need like a source of income coming in and just like a little bit of stability. So now I'm part-time at my job and I work, I only go into the office two days a week. So I only have to do this, that hellish drive two days a week. Um, and then the other time I work from home, we have VPN connection and I am so much happier because Beachbody has provided me an outlet that I can, that I'm passionate about. And that is giving me a way to pull away from my, my once full time job and do something I love. Like, cause if you get stuck in corporate America doing something you hate, having a boss telling you what to do, having clients that are like, just like yelling at you from every direction, like you're going to be miserable. And with Beachbody, you are your own boss. Like I just, like, <laughs> I always get so like confused when people say they don't want to coach because to me it's a no-brainer but some people they just don't want to do it um but yeah so that's how it's changed my life so far it's like I'm such a happier person I actually have free time like once in a blue moon I'll have time to like watch a show with my fiance like it's it's so liberating and like I know it's just gonna get better <laughs> Oh my goodness. Heck yes. I absolutely love your fiance, although I've never met him. <laughs> I'm sure you'll see him in like my social media posts. <laughs> it's so awesome to have someone. I mean, obviously you've got the team, but to have like, to be surrounded by someone who's so supportive and wants nothing but for you to be, you know, healthy and happy, that's the kind of person you want in your life. So he's definitely a keeper. Um, but I'm really just, that's awesome that you like advocated for yourself and look, things like worked out better than you could have even asked for. You've got um, your benefits, you've got more free time, you've got your happiness back, it looks like. And I mean, it's just, I think that what you've done is really awesome. Because I will say, I, I wanna just be honest with you guys. I will say I see some coaches quit their full-time jobs too early. Because people, um, you know, are in these soul-sucking jobs that are killing your soul and your spirit and they quit their full-time jobs before they've really gotten to a point in their business where um, you're not going to have this stress or this burden on your shoulders that then translates into Beachbody. You then have this pressure. You are trying to maybe push people and close people who aren't ready to be closed. Um, and it just, it puts you in this position where your back is maybe a little bit against the wall, right? So I think it's honestly what Danielle has done is find a, find a way to make it work for you. Don't, don't let your soul be sucked. Advocate for your own health and happiness. Advocate for yourself. Ask for what you want. And if you're, if you're doing a good job, like Danielle clearly is at her job, like they're going to work with you and make it work for you. Right. But if you don't ever stand up, if you don't ever voice these things, then you're just going to be stuck in the same situation that you are today. So find a way to transition out of your current job. If that's one of your goals is to quit your job, find a way to transition out versus it being kind of an impulsive. I hate my job. I hate my life. I'm going to get out of this today kind of situation. Um, that would just be my word of words of advice from watching some coaches do it. But Danielle, I think what you are doing is freaking awesome. Um, and congratulations on everything that, that has happened for you thus far. You're, I know you're only getting started, but there was a couple questions in the chat box. Someone asked, um, some of your favorite pay personal development books or podcasts. Um, let's see podcast. I really like Zig Ziglar. I know it's not for everyone, but he kind of, um, it's gotten a little bit more businessy now, but at first it was very like, uh, 
changing your mindset and like into positive thinking and everything like that. So I like Zig Ziglar for that reason. Um, my favorite personal development books, I love the 10 X rule. Like that Grant Cardone speaks my language. He is just like, go, you know, go hard or go home. Um, so I really like that book. And right now I'm like not a very, um, spiritual person but i'm reading the spirit junkie and the universe has your back right now and i'm really liking it it's kind of just like a really nice it's really good for me because i'm very scientific i went to school for science so it's a nice way for just to like open my eyes to different things and like let the universe do what it has to do it's teaching me more patience letting the universe do what it has to do um for me to kind of just like go on my path <laughs> Love it. Awesome. I just subscribed to that podcast. Yeah. Oh, also I want to add having that conversation with my boss was like, I love my boss. He's such a good guy. And that conversation, prepare yourself for it. Cause for me, it was the hardest conversation I've ever had in my life. Cause like, I don't ever want to let anyone down. And when I went in there, I was like, I had a whole speech. Like I went over it like 15 times with my fiance, like with my friends. I was like, I can do this. I walked in there and like two seconds later, I was crying. <laughs> I, was like, I can't do this. He's like, are you quitting? And I was like, like he had to guess it because I couldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah, I, I, I can relate. Um, okay, awesome. Any other questions for Danielle? Or are we ready to, to move on to our next one? Thank you so much for sharing Danielle. This is awesome. Um, I don't see any other questions in the chat box. So we'll go ahead and hop over to our next diamond. Thank you, Danielle. Yep. Um, okay. So Courtney, are you there? Courtney, Courtney. Hey girlfriend. Sorry. Oh, you're all good. Okay. I'm flying. <laughs> are you okay going next? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So let's just start by you telling us your story, how you got introduced to coaching and all that good stuff. Okay. So um, I'm Courtney, for those of you who don't know me. <laughs> and um, I, last June, um, I got very sick with hypothyroidism. And so I decided to join Beachbody. And I knew nothing really about Beachbody. I knew nothing about coaching. Um, I just started doing Turbo Fire. Um, I lost 30 pounds in the first, uh, well, it took me a little bit over. Actually, maybe I started in May. No, I think it was June. Anyways, um, it took me a little bit more than the three months to complete the program, lost the 30 pounds. And my coach at the time, who wasn't Brittany, who is Brittany now, um, she, this other coach had um, had messaged me and asked if I was interested or just wanting to know more information about coaching. Um, so I signed. I actually wasn't even drinking Shakeology when I first started Beachbody. Um, just I didn't know anything about it, and she didn't really tell me anything about it. So. Um, so after she had messaged me, um, I joined as a coach in September and basically just for the discounts. I wanted to, I had tried Shakeology, like I think the month before, but, um, I wanted the discount. So I signed up as a coach and then I think it was like December and she, my coach at the time who I signed up with quit. So then I was under Brittany because Brittany was her coach. So um, that's basically how I started coaching. And then in about December, I really started wanting to get into it. Um, I don't think I was really taking it seriously until about um, maybe March. Um, it hit Emerald in, well, March 31st, and then Diamond this month, last month. What month is it right now? Hit hit Diamond in June. Sorry, I'm like all over the place. I'm not used to talking to more than one person and two children. So, um, yeah, so that's how I kind of got into it. I got really, really sick. 
um, now it's kind of not necessarily like a blessing, um, but that that is what led me to Beachbody, and um, I'm so happy that it kind of led to where I am right now in this business because I really, really, really do love it. Um, I really do enjoy it. And um, it's definitely very rewarding and fun. I like to just have fun with this. And um, yeah, I'm still, I'm feeling obviously uh, feeling a lot better than what I was feeling a month ago, but I'm still, uh, my levels, my thyroid levels are still totally not liking me and they're just wacky and they're out of control and they're giving me a really hard time um, but I'm putting all of like that frustration and focus into beach body and helping others which in return is helping myself and helping just how I'm feeling and it's I'm staying positive from that so that's awesome yeah. wow <laughs> What an awesome, like, upline to roll up to. That yes, I know. I am so thankful because I would be still where I was last June if it wasn't uh, for Brittany. <laughs> That's awesome. No, seriously, Brittany, you're amazing. Uh, and I'm, I'm so proud of you, Courtney, for getting outside your comfort zone and, and sharing you. with the team tonight. 50 people, honestly, it's a lot of people to have on a team call. And like, I get nervous <laughs> still. So you're yeah. it's the only way to move through those nerves is just to practice it. And I know that like, you're inspiring so many other coaches that are on this call. They're like, oh, I would never be able to speak on a team call. Like, yes, you will. Your day will come too. So yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. So, um, Okay, so you just ranked Advanced to Diamonds last month. You started taking the business seriously in March of this year. Is that right? Um, yeah, about December. Um, I started hitting Success Club in December, and once I hit, um, once I had like two months in, I wanted to just keep going. <laughs> so I started just kind of wanting to learn more about the business, and I was really focusing in on um, the team page and team calls and just trying to get to learn more and more um, about it all. So it was, it was kind of December of last year. Okay. Um, and, and so you've been hitting success, success clubs since, since I think since December. That's yeah. awesome. So coming up on success club all-star, which is huge success club all-star means you put success club 12 months in a row, which is a huge accomplishment because that's like a solid foundation for building your business. So, um, congrats girl, you are on fire. So tell us what are like three things that helped you get to diamonds and all of that good stuff? Well, um, even when I rank advanced to Emerald, I had no idea really what diamond was. Like I, I was trying to learn about it, but I find everything so damn confusing and there's just so another thing to why stuff is confusing is because with my thyroid, I literally have no memory. Like I can, so you can tell me something five times in one hour and I might not remember. Like I literally have no memory. So it's hard for me to like take everything all in and rem remember it. Um, so yeah, once I rank advanced to Emerald, I didn't really think about what was next, but um, Brittany had made this dash to diamond um, push thread thing, like a private message group with um, myself and started off with two other two other coaches in Team Empower. Now, it's, now there's the three of them. Um, but that really like opened my eyes to what diamond was, what I had to, what I had to achieve to reach diamond. And that's really what it started it for me. Um, and then consistency, that is like, I was just talking about consistency on the last call an hour ago that, um, that really is key in my eyes for myself my business and I think everybody else in this business too that consistency is number one um, and that's kind of what when I decided that I want to aim for diamond 
all of my posting daily, my starting of conversations, um, my donuts, hitting success club, like all of that all in one was going to help me achieve diamond. And all of the previous conversations that I've had in the past and following up with everybody. So that is what I focus on daily. Like it's, it's every day. Basically for me, I'm a stay at home mom. So this is what I do now. Like this is not actually, Oh God, I'm getting off track. I'm getting sidetracked here, but that's a little bit of a lie. I'm also a photographer, <laughs> but I'm like, I'm not even thinking about that anymore. I have one wedding left to do next month and, or I mean, sorry, this month, God, it's July. God. Um, and really like I'm, I'm kind of putting that to the side because I really, yeah, summer is flying by. <laughs> um, I, I do want to just focus on this and, um, it's busy enough just staying home at home with my kids. And now I forget what I was talking about. Um, Oh my God. <laughs> you're all good. You're talking, you're sharing the three things. So accountability, consistency. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Morning till. Yeah. So like morning till evening. And I was also just talking about too, how I do like most of my, um, my writing, my com conversations, starting my conversations and follow ups and stuff in the evening when I know everybody's online. So um, yeah, like I'm focusing on all of my, you know, like posting my workout, posting my psychology, my donuts. Um, I'm doing that Can daily. You share, I don't know that everyone knows what donuts are. Can you share what that is? Um, just inviting. I don't even know really how to explain it, but I me, Carl I'm first started. Carl Dyson started. Carl Dyson yeah. came up with a donut thing, but I don't really yeah. know the whole thing. So you tell us. Yeah. Well, I just, I can read to you. I, I have it on here that I read out, but this is one of my coaching donuts. It's just inviting. Like it's for me, it's starting conversations with um, people, even who I might not have talked to about Beachbody before. Um, and I just say something along these lines of, um, and I, I often do this a lot of times when people like or comment even on my Facebook posts. Like, even if it's not to do, sometimes it's to do with coaching, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's um, a recipe or just a picture of my food because I like to post food because I love food. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I often say something like this. I've noticed that you've been liking some of my fitness posts on my Facebook page. And I just wanted to thank you for that. It means a lot to me to have support as well as encouragement from friends, family, and people who are following my journey through social media. I'm not too sure if you'd be interested, but I wanted to send out an invitation just in case. I was curious if you would like to join my team and possibly even earn an income as a coach while working on your own health and fitness goals. And I say a little bit more. Would you be interested in more information? So. That's kind of what I always just do every day. Like at least I send out at least five a day. Um, and then I usually end with a question so that they have something to respond to type thing instead of just like leaving it as like, Oh, let me know if you, if you want to join, then, you know, people don't usually, but this, I find people interact better with a question like that. Okay. That's awesome. So there's some questions in the chat box. Um, and I, I didn't, let's just, let's go to those really quick so that I don't lose them as more, more things come in. So, um, Danny's asking, has that stuck and have people been interested from your donuts or that type of message? Okay. Wait, can you say that again? I can't really hear. Um, you might like, you're fine. You might be able to see the chat box as well, but it says, has that stuck and have people been interested in that or signed up? from the donut messages you're sending? Oh, I see it now. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I, I get a lot of feedback from just that, those type of messages that I send out. Um, a few coaches, most like, uh, I mostly have discount coaches, but still, um, I'm hoping a lot of them, you know, like to want to get into it more, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's how I start a lot of my conversations and, um, I get a lot of good feedback from them and that it just, it even just starts the conversation. So if people aren't 
like interested in coaching or in wanting to know, sorry, I'm in my pajamas, <laughs> of wanting to know more um, information, then at least it's just that open door, the open window to they can, if they're ever interested, they can come and talk to me about it or get more information or sign up for the programs or whatever. Totally. And, um, I mean, I really think like a lot of us live in this space of fear of like no's or rejection yeah. and almost, like living in the space of possibilities and like, what, what do you have to lose? You really have everything to gain. So it's like, if you can get over yourself and just send out more, more messages, more invites, you're gonna, your numbers, your odds are just going to increase. Right. Yeah. Like, and it took me a while to to, to want to do that, like to get comfortable with doing that. But the more and more I did it, the more yeses or even just yes, send me more information, whatever, like now I'll just throw them out there left and right because it works. And, and, and that was the key thing that you just said there. You had to want to do that, right? Like you have to have a bigger picture or a bigger why to want to take these daily actions, to want to show up, to want to be consistent, right? There has to be something else fueling that fire. Yes. Um, okay, so like on your journey to Diamond, you've been like kind of a, a whirlwind. I have to be honest, March to June to get to Diamond, that's, that's pretty fast. Um, which is awesome, but like, what did you learn along that, uh, along your journey? Um, just to, I wrote stuff down, where's my paper here? Um, that just to keep going, like just to, just that anything is possible. And before I was just like timid and shy and didn't really want to try, like not even just when I started Beachbody, but I just would be like living my own little simple life, like whatever works for me now works for me. But now that I'm pushing outside of my comfort level and or my comfort zone and trying new things, that's that's what I've kind of I've learned to do that more and more and more because that's where it, it just feels <laughs> like something is more more is happening and it's working and it's helping and it's helping me like personally too. And yeah. So. Totally. And it's like, you know, grow, growth and, and doing new things that can be uncomfortable. But once you kind of get outside of that comfort zone, it almost becomes addicting, right? Because you're like, yeah. <laughs> it's fun to grow. This is great. Yeah. Right? You realize yeah. that you can always be, you can always evolve into a healthier, happier version of you. Um, yeah. And so speaking of your health, um, Teresa's, Teresa's asking, um, do you feel empowered with your health and becoming an advocate for your, for your own future health? And do you think, have you been like sharing your story and your struggles that you've been yeah. having with your thyroid and has that helped you? Tell yeah. Us about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, big time. I don't know how some days I just feel like it's kind of empowering me it's overtaking my body but then I have to think like I cannot let it do that I those are the days I I do like to share what's going on and I do it quite often um this week I just cried my eyes out <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing it and it just I was this week has been like super I've gone from so okay so okay. when I was first diagnosed your your th tsh levels are supposed to be like three to five like in between three to five something and i was at 90 nine zero like insane like very very severe case um i was put on synthroid for a while and my levels kind of they got normal so i started feeling really really good like i felt normal then all of a sudden i spiked up to hyper and that's when I was like, oh, I want to work. I want to work out like all day long. I'll just sweat all day long. And I had like all this adrenaline and it felt so good. But I did feel normal too. Like it didn't actually, my heart was like insane though. And so I was on, put on medication to bring my heart rate down. Mm -hmm. um, but there had been a time that I felt so good. And I'm like, yes, I beat this. Like I because I changed my health and my fitness, like I turned it all around. 
Um, but then now I'm starting to notice that it is making its comeback. Like now I'm hypo again. Um, so there's still, it's been a year. They're still figuring it out. Like I don't know when I'm going to be level and stay level, but I have to keep telling myself that I'm doing the best that I can now. Like before I would have just been like eating a bag of chips a night and not working out at all, like watching TV all day, like just not moving and not making myself feel better. And in my mind, like I, I know that I am so much healthier, even with this thyroid issue, even on the bad days. Um, but I like to share my story and get that out there because I didn't know, I didn't realize how freaking common it is, the just thyroid issues. Um, so just by talk, I meet a lot of people just from talking about it just on my personal Facebook page and then people messaging saying, Hey, I have the same thing. Like, that's good. That fitness has helped you. What are you doing or whatever, you know? So yeah, I, I definitely feel like I'm in control most days. <laughs> awesome. And it's just like empowering you to take control and yeah. to find solutions and to, even when you're in the, in the, in the struggle, you're staying positive through it and knowing that it's not going to be this way forever. There's going to be yeah. downs and yeah, and before, if I wouldn't have been, I know, I know for sure I would have been, like, well, I was, like, depressed about it at the beginning, anxious, like, my anxiety was through the roof. It still is a lot, a lot of the days, but, um, but I do know that I would have been in a different state before if I wasn't doing all of this now. Totally, that's awesome. That's what it's all about. It's taking control of your own health and then helping other people do the same. It doesn't mean, I think sometimes people think like, oh, well, if you're on a health and fitness journey, it's, it's going to be all uphill, like once you start that journey, but there's a lot of ups and downs and twists and turns oh, yeah. in life yeah. that happens. Yeah, um, yeah for sure. So I'm, that's awesome that you share your, your story and your journey through all of that. I think that's really relatable and, um, yeah, it's definitely not easy sharing it. Like this week when, when I was, I just literally went on to talk for a few minutes just to say that I've been feeling really, really shitty, really, really emotional. And then bam, I just lost it. <laughs> and I'm just like bawling, like that uncontrollable ball that you can't even stop. And, but I'm like, no, I can't just fish or press finish on my thing. Like, you know, people are going to be like, what the hell is going on with her? So I just tried to calm down. But there was so much support from that video and so many, like, that's not what I, why I wanted to do it. I just want to actually have my, like, just normal chat about my medication and stuff. But there was so much support um, and half, more than half of coaches from Beachbody, like, not even just my personal family and friends, but just from the whole community. Um, so it just felt amazing too. And of course that just like upped my spirits and I felt so much better after that, like letting it out, but getting that support back. It was pretty, pretty awesome. That is awesome. And, and that's one of the things you do every day, right? Is you go, you go live every day. You? Well, every few days I've been more so lately, but I have an accountability page too um, that's private. It just started with just a year ago. Just It was like a page for myself to post my workout pictures. But now there's like 350 people on it and everybody else posts their workout pictures and videos. So they want me to keep it private. But anyways, that's why it's private. But um, I go live in there or my personal Facebook page. But I try to do like every second or third day. Okay. I don't really have much to talk about if I go every day. <laughs> I feel you. Um, yeah. <laughs> doing the live videos was really outside your comfort zone to start with, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to encourage some of you guys that are on this call right now and maybe haven't gotten into live videos yet to start because yeah. you only get, you're only going to get a little bit more comfortable by doing it. It's still sometimes not always easy. I have those moments as well where I'm like, I'm live right now. There's no getting out of this. <laughs> um, but start doing it, you guys, because it's really favored um, highly in the Facebook algorithm. 
Um, it's going to get you into more people's news feeds. It's a really, um, it's a great way for you to share your story. So, yeah. And it's a lot of fun too. Like it's, once you get talking, it's, you don't want to get off of it. You don't want to end the video. You just want to, and not even like, nobody even has to be on and commenting to me. I just keep talking. And that's like, honestly, something that I would have never, ever thought I'd ever do. Like I'm, I'm shy. I'm, it's just crazy, but it helps so much. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Getting outside your comfort zone. Good stuff. So, okay. Tell us, how has your life changed um, since becoming a coach? What has coaching done for you? Um, it has definitely helped here at home income wise. Um, not as much as I hope it does in the future, but I am noticing a difference um, that I didn't think I would. Um, even obviously when I signed up as a discount coach. So that's one thing that, um, that, has been helping which I am not going to um like bash on <laughs> obviously but like we're living paycheck to paycheck we always have we've got two little kids like it's income that from any job obviously any person needs so I do definitely appreciate that and that's another thing that just keeps me wanting to push harder and harder um but my confidence, I'm just so much happier and I just enjoy doing this. So I remember when I used to work security in Ottawa and like that shit was scary. That was not enjoyable. It was stressful. Um, I did enjoy it a little bit, but I don't want to go back to um, just working out in the outside environment and world and I I just, I love this so much. It just makes me so happy. It's so rewarding when you get that message from somebody saying they lost two pounds, three pounds, 10 pounds, and they're, they're so much happier. So, um, yeah, I just, I'm just happier and more confident. <laughs> love it. So awesome. Um, it's, you're just getting started and I'm really glad you touched on income because I think a lot of us are like, you know, like it's taboo in society. We're like, you know, it's kind of uncomfortable to talk about, but there's no shame in it. Like this is a business and if you're building a business, you want the business to pay you. So there's absolutely no shame and thank you for touching on that. And if you keep up with what you're doing, girlfriend, there's no doubt in my mind, um, your income will continue to reflect that. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, any other questions for Courtney, you guys? Type in the chat box. Yeah, I love helping people. Like, okay, I think sometimes pe I, people get confused. We're like, oh, we're in the business of helping people. I just want to help people. Well, like, helping people is what we do. It's not how we're compensated right like that's what our job is and you get compensated for helping more people so you want to help more people your income is also going to grow <laughs> that is what your income is a reflection of so um okay alexa asked do you think your consistency in hitting success couple the last six months helped you with hitting diamonds and making progress in your business yeah definitely definitely i think it just every post out there like i I don't think there's ever been a time where I've got, like, I'm too, I'm scared to go MIA for like three days or when we go away on the weekend, I'm super paranoid about not being able to post. So I'm doing my posts usually now on Thursday nights um, to get ready for the weekend. But I think every, um, the whole consistency with posting everything, conversations, everything, I think it benefits me every single month. I think it benefited been, it was benef <laughs> say that? beneficial um, when I decided to um, aim for diamonds because um, those people saw that I'm here and I've been here for as long as I have been and I think they have a pretty good idea that I'm going to be staying here so I think it definitely it all helps with staying consistent every day not every second day or every second week every day totally totally I think it's I think it's consistency over the long haul right if you take a day or two off 
I don't want you to think that you can't do that because that's not a life by design. <laughs> if you can't take a day off, that's not a life by design. So make sure no. you're living your life by design because that's what you're working towards. But consistency over the long haul is definitely um, that, that key secret ingredient. I'm just curious, are you hitting Success Club 5, Success Club 10? Can you share with the team like what kind of Success Club number? Um, I'm aiming for 18 every month. Eight? So, okay. yeah, 15 to 18, <laughs> hopefully higher this month. Maybe. That's awesome. And like, I think, um, I mean, obviously everyone moves at their own pace, but I just want to mention that because Courtney has hit big goals, you know, relatively quickly. Um, she's working really hard and she's going above and beyond. So she's not just hitting success club five and being like, why am I not diamond yet? You know, she's really working for it. Um, and really helping lots of people on a regular basis. Um, Success Club 18 would be helping nine people a month, which is completely doable. Like that's so doable. Um, but it's, it's definitely above and beyond five or 10. So you get to choose where you're at on that. Like no one's ever here to tell you, Oh, you need to hit success club, whatever. That is your choice based on your goals and how quickly you want to reach those goals. Okay. Thank you so much, Courtney. Um, you did awesome girl and I really appreciate you staying up late and sharing with us tonight I okay I know this is a long team call but I want to have Danny speak too so Danny you still you still there girlfriend I'm here can you hear me we can hear you now I'm just trying to find you so I can spotlight you there you are hey hey how's it going hello hello oh it's so weird seeing like your own big face on here <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can click the gallery view and look at everyone if you'd prefer, but your, <laughs> this, your face looks beautiful and I love uh, it. So. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see here. So tell us just, you know, a little bit about you, your story, how you got started as a coach, and then we'll go from there. Yeah. So I started as a coach in April of last year. So April of 2016. So I just had my one year this spring. Um, and I started, I actually was one of those weird people who I, my upline coach is Alexis Das, And I followed her on Instagram for a really long time. And I um, just followed her journey, followed everything. And I just like loved the freedom that she had in her life. Um, but more so, I wanted to like get back into a healthy lifestyle. I grew up and I was into sports. I was always like really thin, really fit, you know, things like that. And I, um, I just had a passion and I was an athletic person. I was also, I also grew up and I was a extremely picky eater. Uh, I'm talking like bologna sandwiches and white bread. <laughs> um, so it, but it didn't matter weight wise because I was so active that I would just burn it all off. Um, and then I went to college as we, Danielle talked about earlier that I gained about 20 pounds because I stopped working out and I started drinking beer and eating a lot of pizza. Um, and you know, I would work out here and there and I always had like a interest and a passion for fitness. I got my undergrad degree in health education. Um, so it's always been something that has been an interest to me. Um, but for whatever reason, I just really could not figure out like my own health and fitness journey. Um, I tried literally everything. I tried, I mean, in high school, we, I played volleyball, but we actually were like lifting, like Olympic lifting with the football team. So I did that. In college, I had joined Weight Watchers. After college, I did calorie counting. I counted my macros. I, I did everything. Um, there's really not much that I haven't done, except I guess I've never competed in a bikini competition and you will never find me there. <laughs> um, but I really tried everything and there just, 
there wasn't, I just never figured it out for me. Um, and so I ended up joining, um, with trying, well, I wanted to try out the 21 day fix. And so I bought the 21 day fix and I was really stubborn. I had a huge ego because I also at the very same time was studying to get my personal training certification. Um, and so I had a really big ego around drinking shakes. Um, like I know a lot of people do and oh, I don't need a shake. Like I'm going to eat my food, blah, 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 because I didn't know anything about Shakeology. Um, and so I ended up just buying the 21 day fix and not buying Shakeology. And I made my husband do the 21 day fix with me because I knew that I would not do it if I didn't have like some sort of accountability. Mind you, I was not in an accountability group at that time. And so I made him do it with me and I got into about two weeks into the 21 day fix. And I was like, I love this. This is amazing. I have to do this. I have to share this with everyone. Like, this is amazing. And so Danielle had said earlier how she was like the easiest person to sign up because, because she was just like, yes, yes, yes. I always tell Alexis that I probably really was the easiest person ever because Alexis actually never invited me to coaching. I reached out to her and I had said like, she was, I think she was like on vacation or something. And I was like, Hey, I am joining as a coach, you know, blah, 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 whatever. And she's like, okay, great. Like, that sounds great. I'll message you like later tonight when, you know, I'm on vacation. And I was like, if I don't join right now, I'm probably not going to join. So I literally signed up myself. I somehow found her and her username and I signed up myself and I was just like, Hey, I just signed up. I'm on your team. So I had no idea what that meant. Like thinking about it now, it's like placement and all of these things that like you would never know when you're actually doing something. Um, but yeah, so that's how I kind of got started with, um, with beach body in general. Um, but I, my husband is a chiropractor and together we own a chiropractic business. And so we've had it for, it'll be two years in September. And so it was, it was about a year or maybe, I don't know, nine months or so that we had the business. And so I had kind of helped him, you know, really build this business from the ground up. And I knew that like building your own business and starting your own business was hard work. Like that's one thing I always try to tell people is like, they think like, you know, they get into an MLM or they get into Beachbody and it turns, it ends up being like harder than they think it was going to be or that they wanted it to be. And they think it's just because like the market is saturated or, you know, because it's an MLM or people don't want to buy from you from that. But it's honestly every business. Like my husband experiences that with his chiropractic business. And chiropractic is like a big up and coming flourishing thing that like people want to experience more about. So for me, that was, you know, really good to have that, you know, understanding of like, this is going to be hard. I know that I'm going to have to put a lot of hard work into this and it's going to be like ongoing. It's not just going to be like one month of hard work and then it's done. It's going to be continuous. Um, so that definitely helped me in the beginning, but um, I saw the freedom that he had to make the decisions that he wanted to make, to make the hours that he wanted to make, to decide when he wanted to work and when he didn't want to work. And that for me was just like, I want that. Like, I want to be able to work when I want to work, not work when I want to work, and just be able to enjoy my life and not have the like nine to five, like monotonous life for the rest of my life that comes with the corporate America life. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of how I get started a little bit about my story and I have to plug my computer in right now because it's going to die. <laughs> oh, good. No plug in. That's so awesome. And 
it's I I love how like and I and I anticipated this. Like I mean, obviously, I had no idea what you what any of you guys are gonna say, but like I anticipated that there would be some similarities between what all three of these diamonds had to share, and also some differences from how they got involved in the business um, to you know their their journey on on the way to diamond and and all of that good stuff. So um, I love that Danny was attracted to Alexis, and that speaks to the power of Alexis's consistency over the long haul that people are, I mean, obviously not everyone Alexis signs up is coming to her. That's not the case for any of us, but when you are consistent and you really um, are getting vulnerable with people, like they're going to do whatever it takes to join you. Like they're not going to even going to, there's a thousand beach body coaches out there. You knew that. Right. But you wanted to work with Alexis, right? Like, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, which is just so key for all of you guys. Like just stick with it. Alexis has been doing this for four plus years now. She, she didn't just land here. Um, none of us did. So, um, and then I love that your husband's chiropractic business gave you some really, really good perspective on building any kind of business. Um, and MLMs are not immune to, to the hard work that building a business takes. And I think that sometimes it might be marketed that way, but I think it's really important to market it as an avenue to live a life by design, just like you shared. Like that's what, that's why you're here is because you want to live a life by design. It is not a quick fix overnight, get rich, solve all of your problems in one or two months kind of deal. You really got to be in this for the long haul, just like you would in any business. Um, so really key, awesome things. I'm glad you touched on that. Um, so, okay, tell us, so you've been a coach for a little over a year. I really appreciate the fact that we've got, you know, one coach who got to Diamond in six months and we've got a couple other coaches where it took them a year, maybe even more than a year of consistency to get there. And, but, but yet they didn't let anything stop them or deter them when it took longer than maybe they had anticipated. So tell us, you know, what, what, what really helped you? What actions, what actions helped you get to diamond? What three things? Yeah. So I, tr I, when I was kind of thinking about this, I kind of wanted to focus on like some different things that maybe, you know, I mean, I'm just going to say it right off the bat and then I'm going to go into my other three things, but really uh, the biggest thing for me is like been being a product of the product and like having a transformation and actually sharing that. We've heard that a million times. Like, I don't need to talk about that. We've heard it a billion times. It's something that you know, whatever. So I'm going to try to focus on some other things. Um, one thing that I think has been really helpful, um, I don't think that there's a ton of people from art, from Team Confidence on here, um, but I, people probably don't know that actually Danielle and I are success partners. Um, and it probably goes to show, I mean, I joined the business probably six months after her. Um, and somehow I don't even really remember our story and like how we really got hooked up. But one of my biggest points I wanted to point out today is you have to have a success partner that pushes you. Um, Danielle and I are, we kind of joke a lot of times because we are like so similar that it's kind of insane. I mean, we're down to like, we have the same name. Um, but in the other sense, we are very different as well. Like I am not as organized as she is. And, you know, there's just like, we have differences that we can balance each other out. But at the end of the day, we like push each other with new ideas and just really like goal setting and just wanting more for our team. So it's, I think that's a big thing is like, you have to have a good success partner who is going to really push you. And if you feel like you don't have one or, you know, you're, partner maybe isn't pushing you, I would suggest maybe trying to find a different one because I feel like that has been really key for me is just having that like individual, you know, accountability, but it's not like my upline coach. It's not Alexis. You know, it's someone who can relate to me a little bit more. She's, you know, Danielle's still working, you know, we're kind of in the same 
boat when it comes to a lot of this stuff, um, but we can really bounce ideas off each other and really like push each other. Um, and then another thing is that's been really, really key for me is doing a lot of like trial and error of new things. Uh, <laughs> um, I have had a lot of hard things kind of happen over the last year in my personal life. Um, last September, so I mean, it was probably about six months into my business, and my dad unexpectedly passed away. And it was the hardest thing that I have ever had to go through in my entire life. And it's something that I still deal with every day on a daily basis. I'm 28 years old and I, you know, it's just, I'm too young to not, to have lost my dad. And, you know, there would have been every, you know, everyone would have understood if at that point in time, I just stepped away from the business because there was too much going on. And I had to, you know, just deal with my personal life. And, you know, I, for a while, I did step away from the fact that I did not run challenge groups. I did not run free groups. I didn't do those things because I needed time to like mourn the loss of my dad, figure out how to like live life this new way and just experience a whole different side of my life. Like if anyone has lost a parent, you know that it it's it changes you forever. Um, and so I think the biggest thing is like you have to really be like not so hard on yourself and really like if something's not working for you or if some you have a big life event or something happens to you where it's just unexpected, <laughs> you know, you're busy, you whatever. I don't know. I can't think of any <laughs> other things right now, but like just taking the time to step back from like your life and really like having perspective and like thinking through and like being patient with yourself that, you know, maybe I'm not going to be able to give it 110% today or this week or this month, but I know that this is something that I want and I'm going to be able to do that in the future. Um, and so I kind of stepped back for a month or two. And after that, it was like, I kind of regrouped myself and it was like, this is what I want to do. And I know that my dad would be really, really pained if he would have known that this was something that I quit because I was mourning him. Um, and so, and it goes with other aspects of your life too. Like we recently just moved and I, that you think that that like, you're going to be okay with your routine and it's not going to, you know, you're kind of just live, you know, your normal life just in a different house. And it's so not true. You, your entire routine completely changes and just based on where you live. Um, and so that changed a lot more for me when we moved than I had thought it was going to. But I started, um, in particular, I read the book, The Miracle Morning. And that book has changed my life. If you have not read that book, you need to get it, listen to it, read it, whatever, because that book has changed my mornings. I have been doing I've been so much more productive in the morning and it's helped me to actually set a routine with my new life in my new house. Um, so <coughs> um, that, that it's just trying new things. If they're not working, if things are getting stale, if you're getting bored with something, just trying something new and, you know, just being patient with yourself with, in regards, um, to that there's just different seasons of your business and of your life and they're not all going to work forever and they're not going to all work at the same times and sometimes they're going to work at some time you know and you might have to come back to things and it's just kind of you have to be open to being flexible and trying new things um and then the last thing that i want to say and then we can be done is that um Another big thing that has helped me and I've noticed that has helped a lot of other coaches and the other coaches who are successful and are building 
of their businesses right now, especially, is that you have to be willing to go outside of your team, outside of your coaches, outside of your upline coach, and find information and teach yourself and learn and not just rely on what your coach is teaching you. Like, of course, I like I have a great upline coach. I have Alexis as my upline coach. She has awesome resources. I am so glad that she is my upline coach. However, like not everything Alexis does works for me. And so I need to go and figure out what's going to work for me. There's other things that like, she's not an encyclopedia. She doesn't know everything that comes along with Beachbody or with social media or with building a business or with all of those aspects. And I have found that listening to other team calls, tuning into like the Beachbody Champions page, is, that page is amazing. If you are not part of it, definitely go like it because they have live videos all of the time. Um, and just really focusing on trying to learn and absorb as much as you can from all sorts of different coaches and people and not just like focusing on like, this is what my coach said. This is what I have to do. I, well, she didn't teach me that. So I don't know how to do that. And I'm not going to do that or whatever. Just like be resourceful. And really like, if you're in it, you're going to try to learn as much as you can throughout the way. But those are my things. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can relate to your story. Just so much. Um, I was, I was you, um, a few years ago. So keep doing what you're doing because you're on the right track. I didn't, I didn't wait for anyone to tell me what to do or how to do it. I just went out there and figured it out through a whole lot of trial and error. Um, and taking notes along the way, learning from what worked and also learning from what didn't work. Right. Like that's right. It's always changing. Um, social media is always evolving. Um, like you said, we're, we're all different people. You have to find a way to build this authentically to you. And that may not look the same for everyone. Although there's a lot of, you know, similar basics. There's a lot of different ways to kind of actually do those things. Um, so it's all about finding a way that works for you. So, um, so many good things shared. Um, if there's any questions, you guys type in the chat box. If you've got any questions for Danny or for anyone else, or just in general, like, that anything that you've been wondering about when it comes to getting a diamond type in the chat box now so that we can get to those. But Danny, why don't we just close out by telling us how has your life changed since becoming a coach? Like what does life look like for you today versus a year ago or a year plus ago when you signed up? Yeah. So, I mean, I've had, you know, a couple of different things, but obviously like I really don't think that I would be in the place that I am mentally and spiritually without, beach body and spe like specifically without like alexis too um i mean she's taught me a lot in general just about like really taking care of myself first um i used to be a negative nancy and while i still have my moments where i am i definitely am in a much better place and I feel like it all happens for a reason. I mean, I made a post on social media today about how God's timing is perfect and how like she came in and Beachbody came into my life at the very perfect time. And I don't know that I would have handled my dad's death the way that I did if it, if I didn't have that in my life. And I mean, it all, it all happens for a reason. Um, so mentally I'm just in a much better mind space than I've ever been. Um, and, um, you know, touching on the financial part of it too. I mean, I still work full time. My husband, like I said, is owns our business. And if you want to talk about spending a lot of money, open your own business. That's not a small startup fund, like an MLM, start a business where you have to rent an office space and, fund everything you're gonna that's a lot of money <laughs> so be really thankful that MLMs are a thing because um 
it's definitely challenging. So, you know, Beachbody has been, has helped me, you know, I still work full time and I will, you know, probably for a while. And, but Beachbody has helped me to like supplement my, our income so that we actually, when we, when I first started um, coaching, we were living with my in-laws because we had just started our business and we didn't want to feel the pressure financially. And so um, this past April, we were able to move out of my parents or my in-laws house because of like having Beachbody as a supplemental income to my, you know, our full-time incomes. And that is something that, you know, we would not have been able to do without Beachbody. So that part's pretty cool too. So awesome. So many different ways that Beachbody has impacted each of our lives. And I absolutely love um, hearing all the different stories. So you guys, thank you so much to all the ladies that shared tonight. I really, really appreciate your time. I really appreciate everyone who stuck around for this um, longer than normal team call, but I hope was extremely beneficial for you as well. Just to see that, like, you guys, you can do this too. Um, these ladies don't, haven't done anything that you can't do, right? They've just been consistent and disciplined about it and, um, you know, taking time for themselves when they need to take time for themselves. Don't forget that that's okay to do and that you can always jump right back into it. I just have gotten through a week of barely putting any work in and feeling pretty bad about it, but I'm getting back into it and getting back into it. And sometimes life happens and you have to shift your focus towards whatever's happening in your life, whatever that might be. Right. So you guys just stick with it. Keep going day after day. It's going to add up. It's going to make a difference. Um, and, and, and you're not a failure unless you give up and you haven't given up because you're on this team call. So I just want you to know that that's the only way you can fail is if you throw in the towel and give up. We all go through ups and downs. We all go through hard times. You just got to keep going and you'll get there. Um, I don't see that there's any questions in the chat box. So I'm going to go ahead and end the recording there, but stick, stay on if you are on live for the post call giveaway. Um, and if there's anything that anyone wants to ask, or if any of the diamonds want to unmute themselves and, and add anything, feel free to do so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Thank you so much for watching.